So this is the pattern that I'm using for the designer shopper bag. Well, it's an oversized designer shopper bag. I have got it as a PDF download on my um, Etsy page. Now, I hope you don't get confused by the lining being the same, but I think it's a, uh, for the bag I'm doing today, I want the lining to be exactly the same. Because it's cut on the fold, you need to fold your fabric. Sorry if that's obvious. Now, I've got two layers of fabric going on here. So, one and two, and I'm going to fold them over at the same time and cut them out at the same time because I think I can do that. It wasn't a complete coincidence that my pattern perfectly fits into the width of my fabric. I actually made the pattern that way. So it fits into a 130 wide fabric perfectly. So remember I'm cutting through one, two, three, four layers and even though this is pleated fabric, it's rough pleated fabric. So I'm just cutting it exactly as it is and ignoring the pleats. So we've come in my workroom so that I can stitch it up. So look, have a look. You can see I've done it in red. And basically it's all of the straps and the front bits. This is the side, they're the straps, that's the back or the front, but what's very important is I've not stitched across there. So you see that side seam, I've got to open out the side seam. So I've brought it so the fabric comes right sides together and we're going to stitch both of the side seams together and we're going to start at that point there. So you start here when you go down the side seam and you start here you go down the side seam. So you're stitching the lining and the main bag side seam and then when you've done that tuck the lining part into the normal part, the main part of the bag, you end up with that. Now what, what I want you to do is to go between the two layers of the, so go between the bag and the lining, put your hand up one of the straps, turn it the right way round, and go around all of them doing that. So at this point you can decide if you want your straps to go over that way or you want it to go the classical way which is like the shopper bag so that's what we're doing today to go this way. So in order for it to happen you need to do this. Put your hand in between the lining and the main bag so it comes out of the tube of the handle. Grab the other side, making sure you don't twist it, and hold that end as well. So you pull them all through, like that. And when you've done that, match up the side seam and stitch across there. And do that on your other handle as well. So I've stitched mine together on both sides. So then there's a little bit of magic that happens. Now I use this for doing my shoulder straps as well. So when you pull it all through, look at that. So it's perfect. Okay, make sure you're on the inside of your bag when you do this. So because I've got the same fabric, you can't tell I'm inside, but I am. Now this is all that you need to do in order to get a square bottom like a grocery shopper bag. So we've got all of our layers, we've notched where we want it to fold, you fold it over 
and stick a pin in there. And then do the same on the other side. So I've got notches for where I want it to fold. So I'm folding that over. So mine stops there. I'm probably going to put a pin where the, the middle is as well. Okay, can you see that? So it's fold, I've just folded it in on itself like that. And then all you have to do is stitch across the bottom, maybe stitch it twice a little bit away, and then add like a bias binding to it to finish off, off nicely. So I've done two layers of stitching, and then I'll add some bias binding to the bottom. But for the moment, I want to show you how brilliant it looks when you turn it the right way around. So it is quite important to push out those corners and then push in your gussety bits there, which are on both sides. Now the last thing that you need to do is when it's the right way round, that is important, just fold back the shoulder bits in half so it becomes half the width. Put a pin in there and then just stitch along the shoulder there and do that on both sides. So I think that looks pretty good. Whoa. But look at that. Makes a great bag for carrying my machines. Right, did you know that Fashion Formula have started doing sublimation print paper, which means you can transfer your image onto anything that has at least 60% polyester in it. So my thinking is that sequins are plastic and that's kind of like polyester, isn't it? it has polymers anyway when you get your image it's mirrored it's back to front so don't be worried about that so this is from oh, I should go down lower fashion formula and I'm putting it onto one of my bags and hopefully I've centralized it I've put a towel on top of a mat on a table because I want it hard and flat harder than an ironing board but I put a towel there to protect the mat I'm going to put kitchen roll on top, a really hot iron, oh, I think I might have moved it then, and then you really must not move the image because if you do, you'll get a blurred image. So look, I've had, I've had this on here, moving it around. They say no steam, but I don't know, I sometimes feel like it's better with steam. I've been moving it around for about four or five minutes. I'll check my phone. Um, but basically, as long and as hot as possible, really, really do not me move the image underneath. That's really important. And of course, if you have a heat press, then that's the real way to do it. Right, let's have a look. Are you ready to have a look? I'm a bit nervous, always a bit nervous. Oh my goodness, look at that! Can you see that that says Gold Talk Road? So that's the new sublimation heat transfer paper from Fashion Formula. So this cost me £1.50, but you may as well get a load because they're going to charge you for first class delivery. Now that is nice. Thank you so much for watching. See you again soon.
And don't forget, if you want the pattern, you can get it from the Etsy page, Stitches TV.